So today's focus is problem number three of uh, semi-final number two of 2025 MIT integration B, which is the definite integral from x equals to one to x to infinity of the square, uh, the inverse of the square of uh, the summation from k equals to zero to k tending to infinity of uh, negative one to the power k times uh, the maximum between zero and x minus k. So this is an interesting problem. Uh, let's see how we may be able to solve it. So um, looking at our problem here, so let's go into the bracket. What is the summation from k equals to zero to uh, infinity of negative one to the power k times the maximum between zero and x minus k? Um, so what we'll do is let's begin by drawing our number line from, um, let's begin from uh, x equals to 1 because that's where we are. And this number line goes all the way to infinity, right? So between 1 and 2, what happens there? Um, so we're just going to sequentially uh, look at how this summation behaves in um, these gaps between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, and so on. Um, so what happens here is that um, the first thing is uh, the summation uh, from k equals 0 to infinity um, is times the max of negative 1 to the power k times maximum between 0 and uh, x minus k is uh, when k equals to 1, negative 1 to the power 0 times the maximum between 0 and x. And then uh, when k equals to 1, the same thing, maximum between 0 and x minus 1. So we're only going to stop here because uh, when we go to when k equals to 2, uh, x minus 2 is suddenly greater than, I mean, less than zero in this scenario. And so uh, the maximum between those two options, uh, zero and x minus two in this region is just going to be equal to zero. And so everything, even x minus three, x minus four, x minus five, all those things uh, are going to be less than zero. Um, and so in that situation, uh, everything becomes zero. And so we're just going to stop here. Um, and so what that means is that negative one to the power zero is going to be equal to positive one, uh, and maximum between zero and x in this region, uh, x equals to 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, all that x is going to be greater, so that's going to be x. And here, again, x minus 1 is going to be greater, but instead, this negative 1 will persist. So we're going to have x minus x minus 1. And so um, the summation is going to just amount to 1 because this x cancels this x and negative. Negative becomes positive 1. And so that means that our integral, or let's look at the integrand, becomes... Um, since we have the inverse here, it's going to be 1 over 1 squared, right? So we really, we have what it um, is required between 1 and 2. So next, let's go and look at what happens between 2 and 3. So let's go and see what happens between 2 and 3. Between 2 and 3, the summation now, um, when k equals to 0, uh, x minus zero is going to be equal is going to be greater than zero uh, because all the values between here are going to be greater than zero. Um, when k equals to one, uh, x minus one is going to be greater than zero because two two point one minus one is going to be greater than zero all the way up to to three three minus one um, it's going to be greater than zero um, and when x minus, when k equals to 2, x minus 2 is going to be greater or equal to 0. When x equals to 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So 
one of the two will happen. Uh, 2.1, 2.1 minus 2, 0 0.1 is going to be greater than 0, and, and so on. So uh, in this scenario, um, the maximum between uh, 0 and x minus 2, x minus 2 will be greater. And then when x, when k equals to 3, uh, x minus 3 is going to be less than 0, so everything pre um, coming after this will be 0, 0, 0, 0. So um, we see here our constant here, this becomes x, this is negative 1, negative 1 times x minus 1, this is positive 1, minus 1 squared is positive 1, so x minus x mi minus 1 plus x minus 2, um, so all that adds up into x minus 1. So uh, our summation becomes x minus 1, but now we're looking at the square of the inverse, so uh, in the interval 2 to 3, our integral is, integral is 1 over x minus 1 squared. Let's do the same bit, uh, for the interval between 3 and 4. Um, we can only go this time up to x minus 3 this time, and then uh, when we add things up, we get 2. So in this interval, we have 1 over 2 squared, right? In the interval between 4 and 5, uh, what happens here is that we go up to x minus 4. When we add things, we come to x minus 2. So the square of the inverse of x minus 2 is going to be 1 over x minus 2 squared. So now we can now, since we know that is that, uh, we can keep on uh, going. And so we continue, and that is 3 squared. This is x minus 3 squared. And then we have seven, between 7 and 8, we have 1 over 4 squared. And between 8 and 9, we have x minus 4 squared. So that is actually what our integral is all about. So what we go ahead and do is we're just going to have integral between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3, between 3 and 4, 4 and 5, and we fit in. Now we see this is a constant here, this is a constant here, so I have decided to color the constants uh, in blue so that um, the, the integral is straightforward where we just pull out. And since the difference between the limits is just 1, Uh, those things can be pulled out. And so we have a summation of 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 4 squared all the way to infinity. And then we have the actual integral now of 1 over x minus 1 squared in the inf interval 2 to 3 and then 1 over x minus 2 squared in the interval 4 to 5 and then x minus 3 squared in the interval 6 to 7, and so on. Now, this first um, summation here is what we call the Bezel problem. So those will just add up to uh, pi squared over 6. If you don't know what a Bezel problem is, please, um, you could just go online and see what that means. But integrating these uh, other uh, special integrals here means that we have 
negative 1 over x minus 1 in this interval, negative 1 over x minus 2 in this interval, and then when you subtract now, you begin to see that here, um, because of the negative, we begin with the lower side, so we have uh, 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1 over 1, minus 1 over 3 minus 1, which is 1 over 2, and so on. So we begin to see that this is a telescoping series, because this and this cancel, this and this cancel, this and all the way into infinity, uh, uh, and we are only left with 1 here. So our integral becomes uh, pi squared over 6 plus 1, and that is the, the, the answer that was being sought for.